Oh, here we are. Starting out with Last Refuge. Nightmare playing as Vampire Counts. Okay, maybe I do remember this. Maybe I do remember this. So Nightmare as Vampire Counts, bottom left in the red, and in the top right. The blue corner, so to speak, is Reinforcement slash Cement playing as Dark Elves. And post-nerf Dark Elves, to be specific. Though, for Cement, it's not really a huge problem. If that's not what Liz vs. Skaven looks like, then I don't know what... <laughs> You're not wrong, Nightmare. That is exactly what it should look like. Fighting... for every scrap. Job done. All right. Sorceress first. Okay. So Sork first for Cement. Dread Spears coming up. And Black Armory started. Meanwhile, we've got, looks like, Vaughn. Maybe not. I guess we'll see on the spec. Master Necro started, though. But whenever I see one corpse pit, I usually assume it's going to be Von Karnstein. But we'll see. Second corpse pit needs to be started very soon if it is. And of course, Cement, proper high-level player, scouting at 18 slash 17. And he will see not a lot. Master Necro comes up, can deal with the Dread Spear, and should easily be able to save the worker. And Cement, going to cycle back out. Meanwhile, creeping begins for the Sorceress. So we've got Hydra slash Corsair spec. It's just blade and blade path of blade and steel. Blade and chain? I actually can't remember. <laughs> the top of my head. I don't play enough Dark Elves. Research complete. Meanwhile, though, for Nightmare, we've got Von Karnstein, it looks like. Scroll of Darkness. Korchtov. Right, wait, I said Von Karnstein. <laughs> Korstov. <laughs> Korstov. <laughs> Bloodline. CC Vampires Galore. Our are under but will he have enough time to get online? First Ziggurat coming up. Consistent scouting and harass here, still by cement. But at this point, the Dread Spear's really not too scary. And creeping going just fine for Nightmare. Ooh, doesn't want to lose. Perfect, okay. Dagger and chain. Thank you, thank you. I was going to say, I feel like I'm putting a couple of Job done. misinterpretations together. So still not level 2 on the Sork for Cement, but Charm Shield, quite nice. And double sack. But not clear in the expo quite yet. Wand of Illusion for his troubles. And Nightmare, worried about the expo. But it hasn't even been cleared, much less started. So both players going to be checking each other's expo at around the same timing. Meanwhile, Baleful coming up. Will we see a second Ziggurat? And still no second Corpse Pit, so Nightmare Supply Locked for now. But reinforcement, much the same until he builds his second storage, which should... Yep, it was started a while ago. Perfect. And Nightmare trying to go for a cheeky cancel. Sadly, does not have the damage. I say that. The skeleton brute. That could change things. Siege damage. Is it fast enough? Oh, not quite. Could still get the actual kill on the building, though. Meanwhile, just creeping here from Cement on the Sork. Okay. So is he going to TP? Will he really let the storage just go down for nothing? 
He's rebuilding it here. So already looks like he's just... Yep, consigned to let that one go. Second one back up is already almost done, and he can move on to creating his expo very soon. Meanwhile, Corsair's coming up. Tech for Nightmare. Not a lot of units to speak of. But the creeping... Well, I would say it should go just fine, but relatively speaking, it's a struggle. But it is nighttime. Once he gets level 2, this will be much easier. It already has the research. Level 2 is there. And now he's got the summons from the Korshtab bloodline, and this gets a whole lot easier. Ooh, Creepjack, though. Merc Wizard. There for the Dispels and the Bloodlust. And Sork. Going to be happy to snag these items. One Belt of Giant Strength. One Slippers. All likely to go into the trash. In favor of this Mace of Striking. But he's got to get a shop. He has the Slave Master here, could build one, but opts not to. Meanwhile, Nightmare's still creeping. Still needs another camp after this to get level 3. And what does he get? Crystal Orb? No, Illusion. Wand of Illusion as well. So that could be good for scouting. But will the scouting be in time? Looks like Cement just opted to drop and not pass off the Slippers to the Warrior. Wait, did he? Yeah, he just dropped them, didn't pass them off to the Wizard. And same thing with the free path item. So still sticking around, making sure no Expo, and he's going to build his Expo. Wow, okay, that's cheeky. Chooses to expand... Using Nightmare Zone Natural. Will he be successful? The force is here. The timing, the T2 units, the extra Corsairs as well that he built earlier are all here. Pillage is absolutely alive and kicking. But there is no ensnare. But yeah. These units are tanky. Especially against these damage types. And it is daytime. Not ideal conditions for fighting. If you're Nightmare. Skeleton Brute goes down. The summons being taken down as well. Nice dispel there. Or I should say AoE. And the Sorceress. Ooh, the levels are proving to be so, so important. Huge damage. Tons of workers taken down. Sack there, healing all the units. Slow as well. And the Master Necro's got to be careful. One more AoE. The Corsairs chipping away bit by bit. Meanwhile, workers are going down. Shop now being targeted. Corsairs. Sorceress trying to wrap, trying to sneak around. Set AoE. Uses it instead on the workers. Ooh, when the economy is in shambles. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's too much. Economy hit way too hard. And the timing there just a little bit too precise. Alright, and straight into game two. War out of the way. Echo Isles is the map instead. Both players change races. But for Cement... Still going to be in the blue corner, top right, playing as the Dogs of War. Nightmare, though. Back to the lizard men. In the red corner, top left. He says, ah, vampires. Ah. You know what? Let's try this again. But a little bit different. Not happy with the vampire game. So it looks like a fast tech to T2 once again for Nightmare. And uh, for Cement, this looks like it may be 
some kind of T1 all in. But time will tell. Summoning is complete. His game versus Caspin five days ago was so cool. Oh, we're just in regular uh, Warcraft or on on Eternal Strife. Ah, uh, yep. Arabi spec for cement. Wizard Caliph on the way. And it's looking more and more like a T1 all in for him. Meanwhile, workers, workers, war chief being trained as well. Oh, I'm going to have to watch that. Wait, is there footage of it? I'm, I'm assuming it's just uh, his game against Caspin at the Charlatan Cup, or was it something else? Wait, was it called the Charlatan Cup? Wizard Khalif comes up. Shop is right on time. Well, relatively on time. Just needs to be here after he clears this camp. That's all that matters. And meanwhile, shop a little bit late for Nightmare. But the tech is there. Skink Workshop as well. And the summons. And he heads on over. So we've got Dust Devils. The summons from the Caliph. Gloves of Haste. Perfect item to start. And Nightmare. Just a tiny bit late on the Creepjack. Not able to get anything. And might even just deliver up some tasty, tasty XP to the Wizard Caliph in the process. With the summons. Nope. Resummon there. Nice. A little bit of surround. One lizard being focused, but the dust devil. Who's on the menu for who? And there we go. Taken down. And now the serpents. Taken down by cement. And that will hand over level two to the caliph. And yeah. Nightmare's just going to get out. Ideally, he wanted to delay the level 2 as much as possible, but is isn't quite able to. And now the timing here. Forge coming up. Should be crossbowmen very soon. And once the Wizard Caliph gets level 3, these Dust Devils can be scary. So Nightmare pulling back. Gonna creep to level two as well. Hopefully get something nice item-wise for his troubles. And I expect Cement to creep this camp and wrap right back around towards Nightmare's base. Gloves of Haste for Nightmare as well. Not bad at all. Tech to T2 is done. And I expect likely the High Chief. Or High Priest. High Chief. <laughs> high Priest. Will he be on the way? Tech to T3 started before the hero. Meanwhile, Dust Devils. Big damage. Starstorm creeping. Going great for the Caliph. And this should barely, yep, barely be level 3. And once again, ideal item, Mace of Striking. Or Cement. Level 2, Charm Shield. Not bad at all. Expo. Not quite cleared, though, sadly. And we'll have to wait around for the snakes. Yeah, there's the resummon. Meanwhile, though, Cement. Heading over bit by bit. Will he buy anything at the shop? Nope. He's satisfied with what he's got. Plenty of potions. And straight into the main for this T1 timing. And are the workers on the way? We've got crosswomen filing in, but no workers quite yet. So no towers as of yet. Just looking to damage the economy again. Ooh, one crosswoman already being focused, but here we go. Dust doubles. The AoE. The storm. Big damage on the workers. 
two, three, four. Gonna be a fifth, sixth, seventh worker going down. Tower destroyed as well. And all of a sudden, the production is completely stopped for a moment here in the main base of Nightmare. And the creeps are just eating damage. More storms. Dust Devils. Standing the ground as star after star falls on the skink workers in the back. The gold mine. One worker finally going to go down. A second one follows. Third one will join in a moment. Oh, and just not anywhere near enough damage. The pikemen just hiding these lizards around. One source warrior to deal with what, six crosswomen? The war chief out of mana. Leaf, level four. No workers. Yep, that is GG.